Well, uh, I tried to instill all the values that were important to me. But you can't transmit values in change times exactly as you would like to give them, I discovered. So uh, they are all, well, let me, first of all, they are not all anything. They're three individuals. Two of them have integrated both my social justice values and my love for Israel and Judaism values, but in very different ways from the way I uh, had integrated them. Um, and the third was more the, re the rebel against Judaism and to some extent against Israel. So, but he's a very good person, a good human being with real concern for, you know, a real concern for the underdog and for, um, for inequities. He just translates them, again, a little differently. So, um, my, two of my kids have been to Israel a number of times. My oldest, who was the rebel, has not been there at all. We, we, we sent each of them there originally when they were teenagers. My oldest son would not go, so he's still not been there. Um, they are all, uh, I mean, they're all very good people. You know, I say that in all modesty, but, you know, it has nothing to do with me. They are good human beings, but they're very different from me. And, see, my father was able to transmit Zionism to me, again, for some of the reasons we already talked about, but by the time I was transmitting to my kids, and I say I, my, it's my husband and me, but, you know, uh, it was already, um, Israel was already a state. And so everything was different. And you can't transmit concern that the Jews don't have a homeland at a time when the Jews do have a homeland. And they're acting like a nation, and things happen when you are a nation that doesn't happen when you're in the diaspora. So, so that's where you know transmission doesn't work as easily as it did in the generation between my father and myself, or at least that's the way I see it.